In this week's episode, I want to talk about vitamin D, the importance it plays in human performance and longevity. Now, vitamin D is more of a hormone than anything else. It, uh, it affects how we express our genes, athletic performance. <clears throat> it's essentially a steroidal hormone. So if you think about um, you know, anabolics and what we're trying to do there, this vitamin is very akin to that. And so the first thing you want to do is get tested to see if you have the adequate levels. You can go ahead and ask your doctor to test your 25 hydroxy vitamin level. If your doctor is not willing to do that, you can go ahead and reach out to me here at Massive Athletics. Uh, we can provide that test for you. We can just send it out. Uh, so that's the first thing you want to do. Now, in getting the test back, you want to make sure that you have somewhere between 50 and 90 NG mLs. And what that means is just going to give you a level. And so optimally, you want it, you know, somewhere in between there, the high range. What research has shown, some research has shown, is that if you have inadequate levels, your levels are lower, you're going to have um, increased um, hypertension, right? So if you talk about arteri arterial fibrillation, uh, you're at higher risk for that. Um, everything from circulation to just um, your body's ability to recover uh, systemically from inflammation is going to be affected as well. And so having adequate vitamin D levels is really, really important. Um, one interesting um, thing to note is that it can, adequate uh, vitamin D levels can actually help increase the amount of fast twitch fibers in your body, right? So if you're looking to increase power, um, having adequate vitamin D levels will help um, activate and create the, those, um, those fast switch fibers. Now there's something to note that you can take too much vitamin D. And so the last thing you want to go out and do is just take a bunch of vitamin D, right? So you heard me saying, you know, oh, it's a steroid, right? It's going to get you anabolic. Like it's just awesome about for human performance. Well, uh, just make sure you one, get tested and two, uh, you follow some recommended, um, you know, dosing guidelines. The things to keep in mind when taking vitamin D is where you live. Now, if you're in a northern country, you see less, uh, less sunlight, your levels might be lower. If you live in the tropics where uh, you, you know, you're hanging out, uh, you know, sun's out, gun's out, getting a tan, then uh, your vitamin Ds are probably a little bit healthier. So it's definitely uh, geographically affected. So just keep that in mind. Now, I like Dr. Jay Cannell's recommendations for dosing. He recommends basically um, your body weight divided by 25 multiplied by 1,000 IUs, right? So that sounds complicated, but it's pretty easy. You just take your body weight. I weigh 200 pounds, let's say. I'm going to divide it by 25. That gets me a number of eight, and I'm going to multiply it by 1,000 IUs. And so my daily intake should be 8,000 IUs per day. Um, now there's a minimum that I think of an effective dose is, is being 4,000 IU a day. Like if you're not taking 4,000 IU a day, um, I think that you're missing out on a lot of the, the effective um, you know, benefits of vitamin D. So here are three things that you can think about when you're taking vitamin D as a supplement. The first, first and foremost is you gotta get tested. You gotta see where you're at. Um, there's no sense in taking um, this supplement if you have adequate levels and how much you take is going to be dictated on your levels. So reach out, get your 25 hydroxy vitamin level tested, see where that comes in at. Number two, get as much um, safe sun exposure as you can. Um, there's, you know, studies out there that show that it takes about 90 minutes of three quarters of your body being exposed to sunlight during the midday hours for you to have healthy vitamin D levels. Now I know that I don't get that, especially here, you know, being in, in the middle of winter in, in Salt Lake, it's really, really difficult. So keep that in mind, try to, uh, you know, expose yourself to as much healthy sunlight as possible. The last thing is dosing. Um, you can look at a bunch of dosings out there that are appropriate, but I like the Dr. Jay Cannell's uh, recommendations of you taking your body weight, dividing it by 25, taking that number, multiplying it by 1,000, and then that's your daily, your daily intake.